Welcome to the Fix My Insurance Agency podcast. Each podcast will share the conversations, best practices, experiences, and influences that have generated over a billion dollars in insurance premium. So sit back and let us help you fix your insurance agency. Hey guys, this is Billy Williams with Inspire Nation Business Mentoring, and you are participating in the Fix My Insurance Agency video podcast. We're super excited today to have Ruben Arce. He's with ePay Policy, and he's going to tell us a lot about ePay Policy. ePay Policy is also a solution provider at the upcoming Fix My Insurance Agency workshop that's February 27th and 28th in Arlington, Texas. And we're super excited to have him there. So, Ruben, I like to jump right in. Don't want to waste a lot of time. Tell us about ePay Policy. Yeah, of course, of course. Thanks for having me, Billy. Um, ePay Policy, we are a payment processing company. So what we do is we build online payment pages for uh, other agencies to collect credit card and ACH payments. It's all streamlined. It's all be, it would all be done online as well as uh, text as well because it, it is mobile compatible. Okay, excellent, excellent. So we know you're going to be at the Fix My Insurance Agency work, agency workshop. We know you're going to be a solution provider. I think you had something else you wanted to tell the folks, and then we'll we'll tell them yeah. at the beginning and tell them at the end. Of course, of course. And look, for any agency attending the workshop, you know, be sure to sign up with the ePay policy ahead of time so that while we're on site, we can talk best practices around implementation, uh, you know, review some key features that we have, and also just answer any questions that you might have. Of course, we're going to go over the whole demo today, but, um, you know, definitely be sure to sign up ahead of time. Uh, and even so, we have a little uh, a nugget for everybody. Um, we want to offer everybody a, a free code, a free promo code for the first free month. Um, and that code is just fix my agency, all one word for your first month free. Uh, and if that code does expire, it expires on Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, of course. So we'd like everybody to, uh, you know, to kind of utilize that as, as uh, soon as you can take advantage of that first month free and then come talk to us at the uh, Fix My In Insurance Agency show. We love it. We love it. Love it. So what is the main problem that you solve for insurance agents and agencies? Yeah, that's a good question. So the biggest problem that we're solving right now is just speeding up your receivables and meeting the pairs where they are right now in the 21st century, you know, it being 2020. Um, so, you know, the check and cash option, it's always going to be an option. It'll always still be an option regardless if you want to move forward, you know, with the technology. Uh, but what we're doing is we're giving the pair an additional option to make a payment to you. Right. So they can now pay you guys online because as it sits, insurance is the only vertical out there that doesn't collect online payments. You know, it's still it's still outdated, so to speak. You know, it, you're just collecting cash and check. Everything else the payer is doing, they're paying online. We just want to meet the payer where they are right now. And, you know, one of the things that agents have to realize is how much time it takes to process a payment, how much time it takes for the customer to have to come into your office to do all these uh, all, all this just sitting and talking. But one of the things I notice as an agency owner and as an agency investor is how much it seems one or two people consume all of my staff's time when they come in to make the sit in front of my desk payment. You know what I mean? Yeah. They may be there yeah. for 20, 30, 40 minutes. And not that I don't want to hear about what's going on with your dog or your kids or your grandkids or whatever <laughs> else, but I also need to make sure that my staff is being efficient with the six or seven hours that I have them in the office during that day. So you have anything we can do to make that more efficient. We absolutely appreciate it. So here's what I want you to do. Paint a picture for me, for us, for the audience from start to finish, how an agency would use your product or service with a customer interaction. Now understand while we're also recording the video, this is also an audio podcast as well. So when you're painting that picture, as if you're talking about a part on your screen that really is very visual, paint that vision for us as well, please. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it's going to be very straightforward. Uh, by the time I'm going to be done with this, um, I imagine the reaction is going to be, that's it. There has to be more to it. It is very simple. So okay. what we're going to do is we're going to build you guys an online payment page. An online payment page at the top, of course, is the URL. This URL is going to be public. OK, it's going to say demo.epaypolicy.com. We're going to replace the demo with your company's name. Right. So it could say fix my insurance agency 
www.epaypolicy.com. Something real simple there. Of course, you can create that to wherever you want. Front and center, there's going to be uh, your logo right there. So your logo is going to be the front and center. The URL is going to be yours, your own vanity URL. Between those two things, the payer is going to know exactly who they're making a payment to. Okay, so well, uh, on the payment page, you'll have some fields. The first field they'll see, again, this is for the payer to fill out, is the payer's name. They'll just put their name in the box. The next field is the email address. They'll put their email address. And the field after that is the amount field. There, of course, they'll just put the amount that they're making a payment for. Now, below that are going to be the options for credit card and ACH payments. They're big boxes. Once the amount is typed into the box, I'll just go ahead and type in an arbitrary amount, um, the credit card option and the ACH option will auto-populate with fees, so the payer will know exactly right away that they are taking on the fees. A big part about what we do is we pass on all transaction fees back over to the payer, so your company will never see any of those fees. I know that is a huge deal. You're able to collect all your commissions still. Uh, I know that because that's been a hesitation on companies collecting credit cards before because yes. there's been so many fees involved. We pass all those on, and we keep you compliant in all 50 states to do so. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, yeah, the payer will see the fee. They'll see the total amount on both the credit card and the ACH option. Of course, at this point, it's just up to them what route they want to go. Below that is just payment information. Of course, they'll fill that as well. And then at the very bottom of the page is the note section. This note section is mandatory, so the payer will have to put what they're making a payment on. So, uh -huh. you know, if it's on a specific policy, policy number, invoice number, anything like that. Um, okay. And then once they complete that, that's it. They're done. They're done, so they'll hit send at the very bottom. Every single time a payer is going to hit send, it'll send them over an automatic e-receipt. And it'll send you and your company over that same e-receipt. So you'll know the second when a payer's made a payment. Okay. So your link never changes. That's a permanent link, right, that you could put out on your website. Do, what, what all could you do with that? What do you recommend that we do with that link? Yeah, that's a great question. And, and, and yes, uh, you're right. The, the link is never going to change. Now, there are a few ways that you can advertise your payment page to your client. Uh, one is simply just going to the top, copy and pasting that URL. You can put it onto your website. You can put it on outgoing emails, attach it with invoices, all of the above. Another thing you can do to substitute that is we do have pay now buttons. They are included, uh, and we can help integrate a pay now button onto your website or also the signature of email. So all the payer will have to do is just click on that button, and it will redirect them to this payment page that we created for you. Awesome, awesome. Now, one of the things that we do as well is we like to take that and put it behind our text messaging tool, like through our agency management system or something like that. If you if you agents that are on the podcast or on the video are seeing this, you should be using text messaging to communicate with your customers anyway. If it's a long link, which I don't think this is going to be too long, but if it was, we would put it behind a bit.ly link so that it would shorten it, you know, in case your text message tool breaks it into two separate texts or something like that. But I think as long as you keep it under 160 characters across the across the universe, you'll be fine. I know some of these text messaging tools now go up to 500 characters and all that, but everybody's technology has not caught on to that. So you still need to leave it below 160 characters. But texting for us will be very effective as well on this, Ruben, because our customers all reply to text. So with that being said, <laughs> how mobile friendly is it if we were to text out your link? Extremely, extremely mobile friendly because just like you said, it's just a small link. So you would just copy and paste that URL. You can text it to them. Another thing you can do if you do email it to them, I know a lot of people are checking the emails on their phone. They can simply just open up that link through their email on the phone and it'll pop up. Uh, and, you know, is it being mobile compatible? Uh, it's very mobile compatible. Uh, it's uh, it's made to fit your screen, you know, whether you're on Android, iPhone. Um, and it, of course, you know, the steps are really easy to use. Gotcha. Gotcha. So how easy is it to get your product or service implemented in the agency up and running? How, how hard is that? Oh, it's not hard at all. Right. That's the easiest part. You know, the part going to our website at epaypolicy.com. Once you're there, there's going to be a green button there that says sign up. You'll click on that. It's going to take you to the sign up application. Uh, folks, it's only five steps. Five steps. We don't need any history of balance sheets or bank statements. It's just all general agency info. Um, once this is complete, which is usually takes about five minutes to complete, 
We'll be notified. My support team will start working on your payment page, and we'll be next to reach out to you once everything's complete. Generally, we can have you guys up and running within uh, by next business day, um, and the cost for the service is also um, is also cheap as well. Uh, the only charge the company has ever taken on is just twenty dollars a month, or wow. about four mocha or about four mocha lattes at the uh, the coffee shop. Twenty bucks so, a month, know. man. That's that's worth it to make the headache of taking payments that much easier. That's yeah. that's awesome. So, what kind of ongoing service and support do you provide to the end user, to the agent? So that we, you know, we buy something and then it seems like the moment we pay for it, that's it. We never hear from anybody else again. So, what kind yeah. of ongoing service and support do you provide? Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then I'll I'll just kind of go back from our homepage here. We, we have a support team here in office. Uh, we also have the support email address and the phone number there. Um, everything is there. They're on site. They're there to help. You know, we pride ourselves on support. That's a that's a big part of who we are. Uh, but yeah, they're they're readily available. You know, even, even you know, you shoot us over. Everybody's going to be notified immediately, so we can work on anything obviously that we need to on spot. Gotcha, gotcha. So my next question is, it's kind of off the wall, but I always look at I look at the good, but I also look at the bad. How are agents making this way more difficult than what they need to? Uh, that's a great question. And the biggest part about that is they're not utilizing the page um, enough, right? You know, when we, we really stress, put this page everywhere, right? Text it to your clients, email it to them, put it on your signature, put it on your website, put it everywhere. Uh, a lot of times, uh, a, um, the ones that are having problems getting it out there, they're not advertising it enough, if at all, right? So if people need to make payments, they kind of forget about it. They say, oh, yeah, we forgot. We have this page. Let me email you over the link. Advertise it everywhere. Have the payer have easy the easiest access to it, so they don't forget, so they don't have to keep calling. How do I make a payment? Uh, just make it readily available everywhere to your clients. Nice, nice. I like it. I like it. I like it. All right, Ruben. So I'm gonna let you close us close us out here. I'm you know we use ePay policy, so we're very very excited about it. Tell us anything you want to close with that either will make the agent less hesitant to check you guys out or mm -hmm. to make the agents that are, that are using you already get more engaged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and look, it's, it's very straightforward what we do here. Um, you know, uh, first of all, I, obviously, I want to take the time uh, to thank everybody. Thank, thank you, Billy, for having us on here. Um, you know, with ePay policy, I do want to stress, you know, there's no contract. There's no contract on the uh, side of the process of getting set up the five-step application. There's no cost to get started. There's no contract. Uh, it's just a monthly fee of 20 bucks a month. Um, it's just a month-to-month -month deal with no penalty cancel at any point. So if you're on the fence or if you think, okay, I like this, but I'm just not sure how often I would use this, try it out. And if two, three, four, five months down the road, it's just not what you thought it was or the payers are not you know, paying you the way you'd like them to pay, you could just give us a shout, cancel with no services, right? So that's that's the beauty of the no contract, uh, no obligation. Got but um, yeah, we'd love to give everybody a try. And that's also why, again, I want to reiterate, we have that free month code uh, for Fix My Agency. We'd love everybody to try it. Uh, try it out. You know, again, you have 30 days trial, a risk-free trial. Check it out. Let us know what you think. I, I know uh, that's it's, it's absolutely going to be a benefit for everybody. Awesome. 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 And for my non-standard agents out there, you know, we have quite a few non-standard investment partners. Guys, this is a life saver. It is an absolute lifesaver because as you well know in the non-standard world, a lot of people will walk in with checks or walk in and spend an hour and a half in your office talking when we could make this whole process a lot easier for them and a whole lot easier for you. I'm really excited, Ruben, that I think you're personally going to be on site at the Fix My Insurance Agency workshop in Arlington, right? Uh, I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, I know there's going to be a couple of us there. I believe I'll be one of the ones. Yeah, so okay. uh, we'll definitely look forward to seeing everybody there. Good. So if you have questions when you're at the workshop, Ruben, just come up to Ruben, come up to the the e policy, e pay policy table that they're going to have there. But they're also going to be one of our solution providers, meaning we're going to introduce them to everyone. We're going to have a little round table that we go and we talk, and they'll be there that evening to help you set up in anything that you need about e pay policy. So we're absolutely excited to have you there. And with that being said, Ruben, I'm going to let you get back to work. I'm going to let my guys and gals get back to work. <laughs> And I'm going to go play golf. Hey, look, lucky you. I like <laughs> it. All right. Thanks. I appreciate it.